Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Fabio Wardley stops Nathan Gorman in the third round to win the vacant British heavyweight title. Um, now this was, for as long as it lasted, was actually a, a really entertaining fight. Uh, first time in Fabio Wardley's career where he's actually had a guy punching back and where he's had to ask, uh, answer some questions that were asked of him. And he answered those questions in my opinion. He showed good heart and um, he overcome a pretty bad start as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, really fun fight. Um, and yeah, congrats to Fabio Wardley for getting the job done. Fight started out quite interestingly. Uh, first sort of 60 seconds or so was your uh, sort of um, feeling out process to say, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Both guys were uh, utilizing their jab. Uh, Nathan Gorman jabbing from his guard, whereas Fabio Wardley was jabbing uh, from that low lead hand. Uh, Nathan Gorman's jab early on was more effective. And as, uh, as round one played out, Nathan Gorman started to tag Fabio Wardley with that jab, rocking his head back, damaged um, Fabio Wardley's nose in round one. It started leaking uh, right from round one. And as the round progressed, Nathan Gorman was then actually finding some really good right uppercuts that were splitting Fabio Wardley's guard. And he was tagging up Fabio Wardley on a regular basis. Uh, Fabio Wardley landed a couple of jabs here and there, a couple of uh, right hands to the body as well. But round one was all Nathan Gorman. Round two uh, actually started similar to how round one ended. Uh, Nathan Gorman's jab was finding the target, and once again he landed a couple of uppercuts. However, all throughout this fight uh, he was looking for his counter left hook, which is arguably Nathan Gorman's best shot. Uh, and he caught Fabio Wardley with like a short left hook on the inside, and it momentarily buzzed Fabio Wardley. Nothing crazy, but you know, you, you could tell that he felt the shot. His, his legs did a little dip uh, for a brief moment. Uh, but after that, um, Fabio Wardley responded by letting go of some power shots. Nathan Gorman obliged him and basically backed up to the ropes with a high guard. And he was looking for his counter left hook. He was looking for uh, Fabio Wardley to overextend to counter him because he was having success in the exchanges prior to this but you know uh, Nathan Gorman was sort of sitting on the ropes high guard leaning back and he got caught with a straight right hand and Fabio Wardley's straight right hand pierced Nathan Gorman's guard and Nathan Gorman went down. Nathan Gorman looked buzzed but he beat the counts and to his credit he tried to push Fabio Wardley back he tried to let go of his punches uh, both guys exchanged uh, he actually managed to catch Fabio Wardley with a decent left hook and a decent right uppercut. Uh, Fabio Wardley's face at this point in time is leaking with blood from his nose. Uh, so Gorman tries to mount a fight back, but Fabio Wardley deads that in its tracks. I think he landed a right hand, like a straight right, uh, followed by like a cuffing right hand to the, uh, to the side of the head of Nathan Gorman. Gorman went down once again. Once again though, he beats the count and makes his way out of round two. At the start of round three, uh, Gorman tried to once again box on that front foot behind that high guard. He actually got a few good jabs off in the first minute of the third round. He landed a pretty good double jab at the minute mark. And yeah, he, he was trying to box his way back into the fight. But once again, Fabio Wardley didn't let Nathan Gorman back into the fight. He started to unload with uh, wild looping combinations. He was punching around the guard of Nathan Gorman. And you could tell that the shots were getting to Gorman. Uh, Gorman backed up to the ropes once again. And Fabio Wardley unloaded with, I believe, like a three or four punch combination, which culminated in a right hand. Nathan Gorman goes down again, um, beats the count once again. But essentially, the writing was on the wall at this point in time. Also, all, also it's worth pointing out that after the third knockdown, uh, Nathan Gorman was starting to blink like uh, he, he he was showing some weird blinking patterns which was concerning and I, th I think the corner actually picked up on that uh, but yeah Nathan Gorman beat the count for the third knockdown uh, Fabio Wardley jumped on him and shortly after he landed a couple of right hands and the corner just uh, threw in the towel basically and that was it um, 
listen, it's a shame that the, the towel was thrown in, but you know, because it was a good fight. But given, you know, Nathan Gorman went down three times, a couple of those knockdowns were quite heavy. Plus for blinking, yeah, I think the corner made the right decision, to be honest. And more than likely, he was getting... He, he wasn't coming back in that fight, in my opinion. But um, exciting fight, exciting fight. Uh, Fabio Wardley in this fight showcased that he's got heart, he's got determination, and also a reasonable chin. Um, I know he got slightly buzzed in this fight, but he took it well, he came back, and he got the stoppage. And also, it showed that his power is pretty decent. You know, Fabio Wardley in this fight, I think his technical limitations did get shown to a certain degree. Uh, Fabio Wardley never had an amateur background, as we know. Uh, he came up in white-collar boxing, which is basically less than amateur boxing. He had a couple of white-collar fights and went straight to the professionals. So technically, Fabio Wardley has a lot of improvements to make defensively because he was getting caught too regularly in this fight. But at the same time, you know, um, consider, uh, considering he started boxing so late and has so little experience, I would say there's some talent there. You know, he's athletically gifted. He's relatively quick. Seems to have decent power. Uh, puts his shots together. I know he is quite wild when he puts his shots together. But, you know, they overwhelmed Nathan Gorman. And, um, yeah, man, I I'll be interested to see where to see where Fabio Wardley goes from here. As for Nathan Gorman, hmm, I mean, if he wants to stick around at the lower end of domestic level, I'm sure there's fights out there for him. I don't know, maybe Nathan Gorman could target uh, David Adelaide, for example, but ultimately this is the second time Nathan Gorman has come up short against his domestic rivals, first time being Daniel Dubois, and both times he got knocked out uh, before the sixth round, so... um. Yeah, Nathan Gorman has some thinking to do. Once again in this fight, he he didn't turn up in great shape. Uh, better shape than I've seen him in, in in some fights, but still not the type of shape that you want him to be in. So he needs to really look in the mirror and ask himself, is boxing, is boxing for him, quite frankly? And as for Fabio Wardley, I think he would be wise to not rush things. Maybe have another defense of, well, have a defense of the British title. Don't be surprised. If they wheel out Dave Allen, you know, I I I wouldn't be shocked to see that fight. Um, but yeah, if I'm if I'm managing Fabio Wardley, I'll take things slow. He's still quite young, uh, you know, lit, little amateur background. So you know, keep it keep it moving slowly. Again, maybe defend that British title uh, at least once, and then go from there. But yeah, good fight while it lasted. Shame it couldn't go a bit longer, but it is what it is. Share your thoughts below. Peace.